this is where we left in the last video looks fine so far so these are the sending emails now we're going to start working on the reset password for resetting password we have to follow four step so number one we have is to get the user based on the token second we have to if the token has not expired and there is a user then set the new password that's the second step in the first step we have to simply update the password for the user and in the fourth step we have to log the user into our application with the help of JWT so that's token we're going to send back so let's write the very first one and that's very easy we have this hash token and here we can come here and here we're going to take this crypto package crypto package simply use the package we'll say crypto dot create hash in that we have to pass this algorithm hash 256 and that we're going to call this update and we have to pass the rec dot prams because in that we have the token remember in the email we are sending that token and this is how we can get it so in that we can say token and we're going to call this digest and that we run hex so this will give us the token and if you come here and this is the same logic we have followed here you can see in the router we have this token and from there we can get that here we have to take the user await user in that we're going to call this find one and we have to find the user on the base on the password reset token because that's what we have stored into the, our database so we'll say hash token then we have to check the expires so we'll take this mongodb and we <clears throat> mongodb query model and in that we're going to say dot date dot now that looks good and turn this into an async function so right now we don't have an error simply looks fine hash token if you come back to the user model you have noticed that this is the exact thing we have followed here and the same thing we are doing there you can convert into a reusable format, reusable function, but I will go in the simple approach to make things simpler. So that looks good. We are finding the user based on this token and the expired. Here we have to send the error message if the user don't exist. So there is an expired token or maybe the user have provided the wrong token. So we have to send the error message back to the client. So let's send the error message. That's very easy. Next, new app error. And that we say that token is invalid or has expired and it will have this 400 error code but once there is a user with this token and the expired date then we have to do something we'll use this user and we're going to simply use the rack dot body because in that we'll have the password when the user will reset the password the password is available in the body so we have the password we'll take this password confirm and we'll simply update that password confirm and here we'll take the user password reset token we're going to do undefined and we have to set this expiry to undefined because we don't want to store this data in our database once the user have reset their password we're going to simply remove that and we'll say await user dot save method so this will save the method looks fine no changes we have to do looks good hope this style things make sense to all of you guys and let's come here so let's bring this here and we have to rearrange a couple of things so here we are and if you open this login in that you have noticed this that we are calling the same function this sign up token we are sending this token in multiple places in login in create or so this is the login one so uh, what i want to do is i want to simply convert this into a reusable function so if you come here in the and that's what we need to send here as well so simply copy and paste here because at the end we want to send the token and based on this token user can log into our applications so let's do one thing let's convert this into a reusable function so that's what looks good here and let's come here go to this First, we have to simply save this one all close all the tab close this one
mm, look good come back to the database refresh we have these user you can see these are the data we have grab this email come back and come to forgot password we have to provide the email and we have to come here come back to the first we have to log in otherwise it will throw an error so come back here here we have the pram simply copy that one come back to the forget password so it can take the data that we are the one who is actually trying to change the password so this is our token come here and now we can simply make a request so just wait it will take a little bit time and here the token is sent to the email let's come back to the <coughs> here and come to the body go to this raw and here we have to simply call this json and here we have to define that so let's come back to the email reload the browser and here you find that when you will click on that forgot password it will create this two fill in the user in the user data model so that we have the expiry and the token and now we have to come back here and here you in the mail service you will find let's come here and reload the browser reload the browser and this is the mail we got it open it and here you will find that this is the url and now we have to get the entire id token simply copy that one and that's we need to change the password so here we are sending this demo one simply replace this one and we have to send the token so and here we have to change the password so we'll say new new password one two three and we have to pass the confirm password because these are the two data we have to pass and that we're going to pass this one but this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide the wrong confirm password to check whether the validator is working or not so click on the send and it's taking a time and just wait it's taking time it's taking too much time shutting down the application password reset expire so the token we are using it's expired token that's why we are getting this error message so let's come here okay here i have the problem simply provide this and because of this the date date is not getting updated into our data user data model in our database so save it restart the application this will reset automatically come here and try to this time what we'll do is let's come to the forgot password and send a request first one more time so we have sent the emails let's come here and reload the browser click on this and this time we have got this new token so like grab this entire token come back come back to the reset password and here we have to pass the token paste here and send the request again it's taking a little bit time so let's come here in the code and here you can see here we got the some validation error you can see the data the error message we are getting in our terminal validation error so it's working fine cancel that one and let's provide the right password so simply come here we'll remove this four and this time we'll try to change this password hit enter and okay first we have to simply save it to it will restart the application because when the error was happened the application was crashed so we have to save it to restart the application now it will work fine come here send a request and you can see this is the token we got back and we have successfully changed the password that looks fine so you have successfully changed the password and look fine no more error we have so this looks pretty good here we have the error message simply cut this and paste here so let's come here bring that down and we have to cut this portion and bring it up here and here we have to simply bring a functionality so let's come here and here we have built all the modules and now we're going to create a middleware to save the password so let's come here in the user model and we're going to create an instant method we'll say method and we'll call this pre method and then we call the save functions in that we're going to pass this next and we have to simply check for that so the reason why we are doing this is that when the user will create his account at that time we don't want to run this when the user is changing the password only that time we want to execute this okay so we have methods in mongoose which allow us to do that so we'll say if is not modified and we have to say password so if the password is not changed after account is created that's the one scenario and we'll say this dot new means when the user will create his account at that time we don't want to call this function and then in that scenario we have to simply return this next otherwise we have to call this 
password change at and in that we have to simply pass the date the reason why we are subtracting with thousand because we want to make sure that first the password get changed when it gets changed after that the token gets generated okay so that's why we are doing this seven thousand and that's a simple trick and here we have to call this next middleware looks fine that's the only thing we have to do here now come back here simply send request and here we got this error message that the token is invalid or has expired obviously and our logic is well see fine because we have set the token validation for 10 minutes and i will stop the application for a while and you can see the validation is also working fine so the token is got expired so to change the password we have to simply create a new token okay that looks good come here go back to the forget password and now we have to simply come here reset it and this time we're going to check this one this buddy copy that address come here and simply paste send request this is the error message i have got is modified is not defined okay maybe i have done something wrong in the pre-hook we have created so let's come here get back to the user model and in this we have to say that here we are calling this and here we have to call this because this keyword will refer to the model and this so it can know okay we are talking about the password so this dot modifier now this will fix the issue save it come here make a request and let's see what response we get and the email we have sent so let's come back to the here and let's try to find out the email we have got yes we got it here click on this and this is the token simply grab that one copy and now come here we change it and here this time we want to change the password so set in the request and you can see the password is changed new password one two two no one two three so the password is changed for the user so that looks fine to me if you click on this you will have all the six user and you are logged into the applications looks good to me now let's come back here and that's pretty much this is how you can send email and change look for the change in the password and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have got the idea with that let's move to the next video